Hi, welcome back to the Living in a Prius YouTube channel. Today I wanted to do a video about different options for sleeping in your car. Uh, if you've been watching this channel for a while, uh, you know that I've lived in my car now for uh, two and a half years. In fact, uh, here's one of my first videos the day that I moved into my car back on July 5th, 2021. So over the last two and a half years, I've learned a lot about different types of sleeping options and arrangements in my car. And people have been curious uh, about what types of options I've tried because they know I like to experiment with a lot of different things. So I thought I'd go over that today. If you're new to the channel, just a little bit of background on me. I've I moved into my car two and a half years ago so I could pack up and move to Silicon Valley to start a new career as an AI, artificial intelligence uh, tech developer. I had spent the previous 20 years as an apartment developer, kind of ironic, living in my car, uh, houseless, uh, but I'm an apartment developer. Here's actually a 216-unit apartment complex that I developed in my hometown of Wichita, Kansas. So I developed hundreds of apartment units over the years, and I'm still an apartment developer. I actually have a company called Amenity Suites, uh, which is focused on becoming one of the nation's first national apartment brand, building high quality apartments at affordable prices that the average renter can afford. Um, so at this point, living in my car is a choice. It's a lifestyle choice. When I downsized and gave away everything I owned and moved into my car, after living that lifestyle for a while, I just have decided I, I don't really want to accumulate things again. I don't want to sign a lease where I'm locked into a year or more in the same place. It's not because I'm transient and can't stay put. I'm actually in Wichita, Kansas, and have been here uh, for for six months because we're wor working on launching the first of many suites location. But I just I like the freedom right now. My kids are grown. I'm single. I'm not married, and so it it just works for me. So anyway, that's that's what I'm doing now. Two and a half years in, I also started Startup Studio AI, which is the other company that I run, which is a startup. It's a studio startup studio for AI based tech companies. So this is part of the portfolio uh, that we're working on of, of AI tech startups. So we won't get too far into that. That's probably not why you're here if, if you're visiting the Living in a Prius uh, YouTube channel. So we'll get now into what this video promise, which is to talk about bedding. If you're living in your car or your car camping uh, or just traveling a lot and you decide you sleep in your car sometimes because it's easier when you travel, cheaper, and so the first setup that I tried was just using what I had available. I had a sleeping bag, a camping sleeping bag that was a lighter weight one for warmer weather. I originally laid that down and then I took a comforter uh, that I had for my bed. And since I was giving away my bed and wouldn't have a bed anymore, I cut that comforter to fit basically the same size as the sleeping bag to give myself a little more padding. I also had this camping mat. Uh, it's an inflatable one with kind. It's got a kind of a foam and, and fabric core inside, so it's a little more than just air. It's a little stiffer than just an air mattress, uh, but it's thin because it's for camping. So I added that to my bedding area, and that's that was my first setup. My first setup was simple, going with what I already had, which was a sleeping bag, a part of a, a comforter, and a camping mat, uh, all put together with a twin sheet to kind of hold it all in, in place. And so that was the first thing that I used. And I used that for quite a while. Um, well, not quite a while, probably about a month. Uh, and then when I found myself settled in, in in Palo Alto in Silicon Valley, I realized the weather's warm, it's nice. I didn't think I needed as much padding. I was trying to consolidate things so I had more room in my car. I uh, started experimenting again. I Again, I was just using the sleeping bag and the inflatable camping mat and honestly that little camping mat gave out it quit holding air which is why it started being uncomfortable sleeping on on just the sleeping bag and so this is just to show you this is where i got it. it's called thermo rest it was a good one it lasted i had it for quite a while because i was using it before i moved into my car as a camping mat uh, and it, it held up quite a while, but I wanted to try something new. So I ordered a inflatable mattress. This didn't have any kind of foam or anything inside. It was just inflatable. And the reason I wanted to try this is because it was a little thicker and air always felt like the best cushioning 
uh, for sleeping on something. And with an air mattress, you can push all the air out and really uh, roll it up compactly. You can see in this image how small it is when it's rolled up. And, and after being in my car again for a little while, having space was becoming a priority and getting rid of as much stuff as I could so I could have enough space to kind of stretch out at night when I slept and pack the necessities in my car was an increasing priority. So I gave this a try. It didn't last long at all. I would not recommend just the basic air type pad because they're just going to spring a leak. I could never find the leak because it was small enough that it would stay inflated enough for comfort for a night or two. Then I'd have to blow it back up. So gave up on that option. And in the meantime, I was doing a lot of traveling across the country and I had bought a second camping bag because I was in places at times that were really cold. In fact, I spent one night um, in Moab in to hike in the middle of winter in Utah and when I woke up in the morning, it was below zero degrees out. But I had bought this thermal sleeping bag that was rated to like negative 25 degrees, and I was perfectly comfortable. So just FYI, if you're going to live in your car or car camp and you've never done it before, I would recommend getting at least a couple sleeping bags, which is a lighter one. This is the original one that I bought, which is a 40 degree uh, um, sleeping bag, meaning that it's rated down to 40 degrees. And so it's really comfortable kind of in the 40 to 60 degree range. And then the th a thermal bag if the weather gets really cold. And if you got two sleeping bags, the nice thing is you can use one as kind of a mattress underneath and the other one on top. And that was what I did for a while was I used a two sleeping bag approach, uh, sleeping on top of the one that I wasn't using, which was often the thermal one, which is thicker and had more padding anyway, and then putting the other lighter weight one on top. Sometimes if it was warm enough, I was sleeping on top of that. So I was just on top of two sleeping bags. Um, this is, shows you what it's like inside my car with all that set up. Um, by the way, I always had my head towards the back because I stuck my feet between the front seats to give myself a little more room. That also made it easier to slide into the front seat in the morning. So I then decided, you know, just because I like to experiment that I would try like a full size bed, like a really luxurious setup. So I did a lot of research online for uh, full size beds that could fit into my Prius. When I say full size, I'm talking about something closer to a queen size mattress. This would be big enough for a couple. And this did fit really well into my Prius uh, and would be big enough for a couple if you didn't have anything else packed in there. Like if you just wanted to take your car on a camping trip and kind of have a nice setup where you had a big mattress in the back. This worked really well. In fact, I'll show you here. This is after I unpacked it. It's a nice big mattress with a nice quality pump. The pump was loud, just so you know, but it did do a good job. Uh, there's a, a shot of that pump uh, that can be plugged in either to a cigarette lighter or an outlet, so you can use it uh, in a car anywhere. This is it laid out before I inflated it, and this is it laid out after I inflated it. Very comfortable. But I just felt like it took up too much space. Uh, I didn't want to hassle with it. I'm a simple guy. I had a cooler and other things in there I needed to fit in my car. And I just decided, you know, theoretically it sounded like a good idea, but this takes up too much space and I I'm fine with, you know, having something smaller. Uh, but just, again, a nice setup if you're a couple and you want to and you're in a Prius or something smaller and you want a mattress, I would recommend it for comfort and size and the way it lays out. If you got a Prius, it works perfect as a mattress. Uh, so then what I decided to try, because I was in the market for something a little more padding and I didn't want to go back to the air mattresses. So I started doing research and found that there were a lot of options uh, of foam type mattresses. So I ordered this one. I spent a little more than I wanted to, but it had several layers of foam and padding on the inside. Uh, this is this gives you kind of an idea of the size of it uh, compared to the inside of a Prius. It takes up a little more room than I would want. But again, I've been living in my car for two and a half years. So after after you go through these phases of trying to pack everything into your car, you can. So you can keep as much stuff as you want when you're moving into your car. That's phase one. Then phase two is trying to get rid of as much stuff as you want because you're like, man, I need more room in here. So you, you get rid of almost everything you have. And then phase three is you like kind of come back to, well, you know, it'd be nice to have some comfort now that I've gotten everything minimized. Uh, and that's the point that I'm at at this point in my journey of car living is I did order this mattress and it worked out well. It's got a washable cover you can take off. It's very comfortable, plenty of padding, not going to deflate. It'll, it'll last as long as I need it to last. 
And again, you know, size isn't too big because those are all my other stuff. That's the big, the, the big black bag on the left, on the left is the big sleeping bag, the blue bag above it's the smaller sleeping bag. And so you can see with the big sleeping bag, the smaller sleeping bag, a couple of pillows and this mat, they just don't take up a lot of space, especially if they're shoved to the back of the car um, when I'm driving or doing other stuff. So um, here's that, I told you the cover comes off. I just wanted to show you, you can take that off and I have washed it and it fit back on. So it's a washable cover, which is really nice for a mat like that. So those are the bedding options that I've tried over the last two and a half years. If you're living in your car thinking about it or car camping or thinking about getting into car camping and you're wondering what options are out there for sleeping arrangements in your car, especially if you've got a smaller car like a Prius, uh, there's that hopefully that's helpful information. And so as always, uh, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, hit the subscribe button and, and you'll be notified when new videos are posted. And in the description section below, I've listed links to some playlists that I've created. If you want to watch, binge watch all my videos because you're very bored, I've got a playlist for that or some playlists that are topic specific like my cross country trips or my time in Silicon Valley. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching this video.